Get ready, boys and girls. The Colleton County Memorial Library presents Virtual Summer Reading Program with Miss Sheila and Friends, Two Voice Series. Come on, everybody, friends one and all. Let's come together. Let's break down those walls. We're going to listen and we're going to learn. Having fun all the way. Somebody said, let's listen and learn together. Let's sing and learn forever. Let's listen and learn together. All right, boys and girls, we're about to start the program, but first, I want to remind you to look for that animal's name somewhere in the program. Next week, we're going to look for that animal's name on a Wednesday or a Thursday. I can't tell you what days we're going to have it. You're just going to have to keep watching us and keep learning. So, enjoy! and welcome to Miss Sheila Sings Fairy Tales. We're so excited that you're here with us. We're gonna have fun today. You see, Carolyn Burns and Sheila Kearse wrote every one of the songs that we're gonna sing today. We either wrote it or edited it. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about. Well, I have a friend with me. Hey, Big Mama. Hey there, girl. Oh, I'm doing great, and I'm so glad to see you, Big Mama. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad it for me. I'm so glad I'm here. <laughs> well, I love the tiara. Oh, <laughs> the I borrowed this from a grandchild, you know. Well, it looks good. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. And it's very becoming for the fairy tales, you know? Oh, you know, I always wanted to be a princess. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. Well, in addition to Big Mama, we got our accompanist, Miss Carolyn Burns. Hi, Miss Burns. Hi, Miss Sheila. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Well, she's awesome, and you're gonna find out in a little bit why I say so. So let's go. Our first song is What Folk Tell Am I? What folk tell am I? Can you guess my name? Can you tell you what it is? Will you tell us all, please? What folk tell am I? Can you guess my name? Well, the cinder this kind girl had to clean she was daily mistreated by her family so mean okay big mama do you know who that is that sound like that gal cinderella <laughs> you're right oh what folks am i can you guess my name can you say it with ease will you tell us all please f is for the frog who wanted a friend he searched for a princess and found her in the end. You know who that is, Big Mama? Oh, is that the frog prince? You're right! Yay. Oh, what folks am I? Can you guess my name? Can you say it with ease? Will you tell us all, please? G is for the granny who became sick. The wolf beat the girl to her house so quick. Do you know who that is, Big Mama? Red Riding Hood. Well, you're pretty <laughs> swift at yes, this. Oh, what folks are I? Can you guess my name? Can you say it with ease? Will you tell us all, please? I is for the innocence of a boy named Jack. He sold his cow for beans in a sack. All right, Big Mama. Beans in a sack. Uh huh. Can you guess that one? Jack in the Beanstalk. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, what folks are I? Can you guess my name? Can you say it with ease? Will you tell us all, please? Jay is for John, who was strong and fast. He beat the steam drill, but his heart didn't last. Oh, his heart didn't no. last. No. You know who that is? That's a good fella, John Henry. Oh, you're right again. I don't know what to do with you, Big Mama. I'm telling you. Oh, what folks am I? Can you guess 
my name. Can you say it with ease? Will you tell us all, please? In his for how naughty this wooden boy chose to be, he showed love and turned to a boy with glee. Boy with glee. That sound like my nephew. Pinocchio! Oh, not your nephew. Oh yes, my goodness. Is. Oh, what folks of my Can you guess my name? Can you say it with ease? Will you tell us all, please? Peace for the prince who heard a lovely song. The maiden who sang it had hair so long. Bet you don't know that one, Big Mama. Is it Snow White? No! Oh, no! It's Rapunzel! Rapunzel, that is right! <laughs> yes, you get the rest of them right, right? That's right. Oh, what folks will am I? Can you guess my name? Can you say it with ease? Will you tell us all, please? Dummy is for the wolf that tried to exhale. He went to the third pig's house, but his plan failed. Okay, Big Mama, his what's that one? Failed. Come on, you know this, Big Mama. That sound like the big bad wolf and the three little piggies. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, what folks will am I? Can you guess my name? Can you say it with ease? Will you tell us all, please? the stranger who did not knock. She entered their house because the door wasn't locked. <laughs> do you know who that is, Big Mom? And they should have locked the door. They should have locked the door. But do you know who it is, Big Mom? Is it Goldilocks and the tree bear? Oh, you're right! <laughs> I love it when you're right. Me too. Oh, what folks live by? Can you guess my name? Rapping Pinocchio. Rapping Pinocchio. Yes. Okay. Now it doesn't mean that he's rapping, rapping? Okay. or we're rapping. Oh, it's I just see. that he's cool. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's go. Pinocchio, did you tell the truth? No, no, no. Tell me, Pinocchio, did your nerves grow? Yes, yes, yes. Pinocchio, did you mean your way? Yes, yes, yes. Cause when you did, you turned into a real boy. Geppetto was a carver who wanted a little boy. So he made a little puppet that would fill him with joy. Pinocchio was the puppet's name, the sly fox. To him came, the cricket warned him what was right. Turned into a real boy that night. Pinocchio, did you tell the truth? No, no, no. Pinocchio, did your nose grow? Yes, yes, yes. Pinocchio, did you mend your way? Yes, yes, yes. Cause when you did, you turned into a real boy. There was a blue fairy who got it with a star. Yes, she did. She told the wooden puppet, just accept who you are. That's right. Then she gave a little friend, your kick it guided to the end. Geppetto was surprised to find the love he had was truly blind. Pinocchio, did you tell the truth? No, no, no. Tell me, Pinocchio, did your nose grow? Yes, yes, yes. Pinocchio, did you mend your way? Yes, yes, yes. Cause when you did, you turned into a real boy. Well, the human cricket tried to lead and got the right way. But Pinocchio did not listen to what he had to say. Sly Fox lived up to his name. The smiled old fellow tried to claim he sold him when he was enticed. The cricket helped him more than twice. 
Pinocchio, did you tell the truth? No, no, no. Tell me, Pinocchio, did your nose grow? Yes, yes, yes. Pinocchio, did you mean your way? Yes, yes, yes. Cause when you did, you turned into a real boy. Pinocchio had to prove that he was loving, brave, and good. Yes, he did. And he saved his owner, Geppetto, and he proved that helped him to become a boy. Geppetto was filled with great joy. Jiminy Cricket was a real pro. And this is a rapping Pinocchio. I said rapping Pinocchio. Oh, Pinocchio, did you tell the truth? No, no, no. Tell me, Pinocchio, did your nose grow? Big Mama, do you know what song we're gonna sing next based on what I'm wearing? Mm -hmm. Here, come you're on. wearing the color red. Yeah. Could it be Red Riding Hood? Oh, you're so correct. Yes, I'm right again. <laughs> yes, you're always right, Big Mama. Oh, well, it's called Little Rap Riding Hood, okay? Oh, Rap Riding Hood. I you like ready? That. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Once upon a time there lived in the woods a boss little girl named Riding Hood. I don't mean blue and I don't mean green. I don't mean future or aquamarine. I said red. You said red. I said red. She said red. I said red. Red, red Riding Hood. Now Granny threw out her back on the skateboard one day, so what? Red took her some goodies and the two have been gay. The buses aren't running and the vets in the shop, so I'll huff at the Granny's house, a clip of the clop. I said clop. You said clop. I said clop. <laughs> she said clop, that's funny. I said clop. Clop. Like clip of the clop. Well, she was halfway to Granny's a singing a song when a big, bad, hairy wolf came along. Hey, hey, little girl, what's your horror today? Get lost, said Red, and she went on her way. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. I said get lost. <laughs> but the wolf beat Red, the grandmother's pad. He threw her in the closet and got Ooh. in the bed. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> when Red got there, she was really grossed out to see a fuzz-faced granny with a big long snout. I said snout. You said snout. I said snout. Like the nose, that's a snout. I said snout. It was a wolf snout. Mm -hmm. She had bloodshot eyes and big sharp teeth, a big pop belly and stinky Ooh, feet. We come close to my ears, said the wolf in disguise. All the better, said Red, for your surprise. I said surprise. Surprise! Surprise! For your surprise. surprise. Then Red took a Twinkie up his nose. She put gum in his hair and stepped on his toes. <laughs> With one big kick, he was out on his tail all the way down the road. You can hear him oh. wail. I said wail. Wail. I said wail. He wailed. I said wail. That wolf just wailed. <laughs> <laughs> These days wolves don't do too good when they pick on little girls like Riding Hood. I don't mean blue and I don't mean green. I don't mean fuchsia or aquamarine. I said red. She said red, y'all. I said red. Red. I said red. Red Riding Hood. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Big Mama. What? Big Mama. <laughs> the tortoise and the hare. I sure you? do, I sure do. All right, well come on, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> the tortoise walked slowly with far to go. The tortoise walked slowly, slow, slow, slow. Who won the race? Do you know? Tortoise won the race, hare nipped, oh, oh. The hare ran quickly like a rocket with 
the hair and quickly fast, fast, fast. Who won the race? Do you know? Tortoise won the race, hair napped, oh, oh. The tortoise didn't give up, oh no, he did not. He kept on walking even though it was hot. Now who won the race? Do you know? Tortoise won the race, hair napped, oh, oh. Hair took a nap, he was O-U-T out. Ow. He woke right up when he heard the crowd shout. Who won the race? Do you know? Tortoise won the race, hair napped, oh, oh. Yay, Mr. Tortoise, you won the race. Slow and steady, you kept your pace. Who won the race? Do you know? Tortoise won the race, hair napped, oh, oh. The moral of the story, my friend, don't give up until you reach the end. Cause who won the race? Do you know? Tortoise won the race, hair naps, oh, oh. <laughs> I like yeah, I like that, that. I like that. Mm -hmm. Big Mama, that was fun and everything, oh, but yeah. we got some more songs to sing. Mm -hmm. uh, oh Lord, Big Mama, you brought more friends. Yes, you could what? just imagine how many people I can get in my car. <laughs> I can imagine. And how you feeding all these people, by the way, that you bringing all here they and stuff? They brought their own lunches. Oh. Mm -hmm. Goodness, they wanted to be there. Well, wait a minute. One, mm -hmm. two, three. three. That's right. And they're bears. Mm -hmm. Is that supposed to be Goldilocks? <laughs> In the flesh. <laughs> so I guess we're going to sing Goldilocks, Goldilocks and, and the, the three, three bears. bears. Okay, we can do it. Let's do it. Once upon a time in a fairy tale rhyme, there were three nice bears just abiding their time. One lovely morn, they all went a walking. They left their homes just a singing and a talking. I said, a singing and a talking. Yeah, that's what I said. A rock, 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 a rock, a rock, a rock, a rock, rock, rock. She did the Goldilocks rock. A rock, 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 a rock, a rock, a rock. Rock. Along came a girl with pretty curly locks. Her name was Goldilocks and she did a little rock. She did a little rock just to walking in the woods. She saw a pretty house and she thought it looked good. Ooh. I said, she thought it looked good. Yes, yeah, what I said. Mm -hmm. Oh, rock, 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 a rock, a rock, rock, a rock, 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 a rock, 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 she did the Goldilocks rock. Rock, 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 a rock, a rock, 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 she did the Goldilocks rock. Well, she walked right in, she had herself a ball, a eating and a rocking and a sleeping and all. She didn't care, she didn't care, she didn't care, cause the bears weren't there. I said, <laughs> the bears weren't there. That's what I said. Home came the three bears, a tired from the woods, a talking and a thinking about some homemade goods. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Papa Bear. Ate my porridge and broke my chair, cried Baby Bear. He cried. He cried. They broke his chair. That's what he cried. Mm -hmm. Oh, rock, 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 she did the Goldilocks rock. Rock, 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 she did the Goldilocks rock. While they went upstairs to see what they could find, Goldie was asleep in bed the whole time. She woke right up with her eyes open wide. She looked at the bears and then began to cry. <laughs> She began to cry. Yeah, she did. <laughs> oh, rock, 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 rock. She did the Goldilocks rock. Rock, 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 a rock, a rock, rock. She did the Goldilocks rock. Don't cry, don't cry, said the wee little bear. Go 
Boogie Boogie right just out of there. Mm -hmm. Baba said Papa and Mama Bear. But she ran so fast that she didn't even hear. Oh, <laughs> no. She didn't even hear. Not a wink. Not a word. Rock. What kind of bear was that? Asked the wee little bear. She seemed so little and full of fear. If she would have asked, I would have shared. She would have asked. He would have shared. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, rock, 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 rock. She did the Goldilocks rock. Rock, 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 rock. She did the Goldilocks rock. Well, this is the end of Goldilocks and Three Bears. I said the three. I said the three. I said the three bears. Yeah. Oh, rock, 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 rock. She did the Goldilocks rock. Rock, 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 rock. She did the Goldilocks rock. All right, Big Mama. We're on number six. Oh, already. We're rolling. Big Mama. If you want me to sing a song, you can just ask me. Why do you keep bringing people? We don't have food to feed all these people. Oh, don't worry about that. We'll make a way for them. But they wanted to come. You can't turn them away. Uh, you're right. I don't want to turn them away. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, who is she? This is the princess in the pea. Okay, well, I guess we'll sing that song next. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> a true princess who was caught in the storm. She was dripping with water outside of the norm. This lovely princess found a castle that day. She knocked on the door and she heard a voice say, A small, small pea made her toss, you know. She was a true princess from head to toe. A small, small pea made her toss, you know. She was a true princess from head to toe. Who's that knocking this time of night? I'm a true princess, she said with delight. The queen was surprised when she opened the door and said to the girl, I've never seen you before. A small, small pea made her toss, you know. She was a true princess from head to toe. A small, small pea made her toss, you know. She was a true princess from head to toe. My palace is not far from here, she confessed. So the queen decided to create a test. I'll put a pea in the bottom of a mattress high and we'll know if she's real once sleep goes awry. Small, small pea made her toss, you know. She was a true princess from head to toe. A small, small pea made her toss, you know. She was a true princess from head to toe. Well, the princess woke up black and blue. She couldn't sleep that night. So now the queen knew. The prince and the princess married that day. Aww. Now the queen, she wants them in her house to stay. <laughs> a small, small pea made her toss, you know. She was a true princess from head to toe. A small, small pea made her toss, you know. She was a true princess from head to toe. Big mama. Yes. We are at number seven. <laughs> All right. And the song we're going to sing today, I'm glad you didn't bring any new people today. No, I didn't have too many folk on this, but I, I didn't leave anybody out. No, I'm sure you probably got some more up your sleeve. Mm -hmm. So I this do. one, <laughs> this one we're going to do now is called the Ugly Duckling. Ooh, that's a good one. The Ugly Duckling Melody. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what it sounds like. Once was a duck 
Bling, ugly was his name. He wasn't like as a child, but he came to fame. He was born unique, that's the way it was. Yet he was despised just because the ugly duckling was his name. And that is how he came to fame. None of his family accepted his look. When others came around, he read a book. For most his life, he was left alone. No one knew his story till his feathers shone. The ugly duckling was his name. And that is how he came to fame. The ducks teased him, they were not kind. Cause he looked ugly in their mind. The ugly duckling was truly a swan. When he grew up, the others looked on. The ugly duckling was his name. And that is how he came to fame. He stretched his wings, they were lovely indeed. The ducks found out he was a different breed. Ugly could hold his head up high. He glided away till the sun was high. The ugly duckling was his name. And that is how he came to fame. The ugly duckling was his name. And that is how he came to excited i enjoyed that last song i did indeed did you catch the tune of that last song big mama yes you know what it reminded me of what Farajaka. well you are so correct that's what it was yes. and then there's the other one that they called uh are you sleeping yes i know i know you would know that too well, okay boys and girls did you get that right did you guess that too? I hope so. <laughs> All right, well, the new tune that we're going to do now is called the Three Billy Goats okay. song. Okay. Would you like to help me again? I would love to, Michelle. Well, you're doing pretty good, though, Big Mama. Yeah, I'll keep it up. Yeah, you're doing pretty good. All right, let's go.
Big Mama. This is our last song, and <laughs> I'm excited, but I'm sad at the same time. Oh, I'm sad too. Girl. Yeah, but it's funny because the song that we're gonna sing is I learned fairy tales, and I'm glad about it. <laughs> I'm glad about it too. Yeah. So, so let's go, Big Mama. Hey. Hey, Miss LaDonna. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? <laughs> nice having you with us, Miss LaDonna. It's good to be here. Well, awesome. All right, let's go. Well, I learned fairy tales and I'm glad. I'm glad about it. Well, fairy tales are fun, big mama, and I'm glad. I'm glad about it. Yes, I'm glad. I'm glad about oh, it. I'm glad. I'm glad about I it. Fairy tales are fun, y'all, and I'm glad. I'm glad about oh, it. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Ooh, I'm so glad I can read. Libraries are free to all, and I'm glad. I'm glad about it. it. I'm glad. I'm glad about oh, it. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad about I it. Said, Libraries are free to all, and I'm glad. I'm glad about oh, it. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, I'm so glad. Ooh, I'm so glad I can read. Miss Carol. Miss Adana is a puppeteer, and I'm glad. I'm glad about it. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad about yeah. it. I'm glad. I'm glad about it. Miss Adana is a puppeteer, and I'm glad. I'm glad about it. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, I'm so glad. Ooh, I'm so glad I can read. Well, did you have fun, kids? Are you glad? I'm glad about it. Are you glad? I'm glad about it. Are you glad? I'm glad about it. Well, did you have fun? Are you glad? I'm glad about it. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, I'm so glad. Ooh, I'm so glad I can read. Well, this is the end. Are you glad? I'm sad about it. Are you glad? I'm sad about it. Oh, are you glad? I'm sad about it. Well, this is the end. Are you glad? I'm sad about it. Oh, I'm so sad. Yeah, I'm so sad. Yeah, I'm so sad. This is the end. <laughs>
thanks for spending this great time. Now, children, it's time to go. Thanks for watching Miss Sheila's reading show. Hope you listened and you learned and remember all the things you heard. We hold children next week that you will return. See you later. Goodbye. Bye bye.